Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Wooting's only serious competition and that is the new keyboard from Onko called the Mod 007B PC. Now this is a new $150 Onko mechanical keyboard that has magnetic switches which also feature rapid trigger and customizable actuation distance for gaming like the Wooting 60HG does. But at a very affordable price. So we're going to be seeing how well it holds up. This keyboard comes in three different colorways. And the one I have here today is the Santorini, but they also have it in the Tokyo colorway and their seventh anniversary colorway as well. All of these feature two different switches, Aqua Cream Yellow Magnetic Switch or the Kale Sakura Pink Magnetic Switch. The one I have here today is the Aqua Cream Yellows. Inside the box, you get the keyboard itself, a switch and keycap holder, and a coiled cable as well, which you know I'm not a big fan of, but at least it's included. So the main draw to this keyboard, in my opinion, is the layout. Unlike the Wooting 60H here, here you get a volume knob and arrow keys as well. So that is great. This is one of my favorite layouts. So I'm really happy to see this in sort of a Wooting-esque style keyboard. The switches you get in this keyboard, in my opinion, are definitely better than what you would get in the Wooting 60HE. I've always said that the Wooting 60HE switches feel a bit on the plasticier side. These, they don't feel like that. These feel like a nice solid switch, not to mention they are pre-lubed from the factory because these are the cream yellow variants, which do have lubing on the rails already, which obviously makes a world of an impact. The other benefit of getting this over the Wooting 60HE is that it is a gasket mounted keyboard. What that means is on the Wooting 60HE, the PCB and plate screw into the bottom part of the keyboard. Here they're on gaskets, which makes the typing experience a lot more even when it comes to the keycaps. The keycap quality is obviously definitely improved as well as these feature either their ASA or Cherry profile keycaps. and. You don't have to worry about getting any OEM profile keycaps, which the Wooting 60HE does come with. I've never been a big fan of OEM profile, so I'm really happy to see Akko choose to go a different route. Now, the only downside to this keycap set, at least the one I have here today, is that the font leaves a lot to be desired, but it's more of a personal preference. Another thing worth mentioning is the fact that this keyboard does have multi-mode connectivity, Bluetooth 5.0, 2.4 Hz and USB type C. Now, of course, 1000 polling rate is only in wired mode and both Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz, I believe are at 125 Hz. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend that part for gaming if you wanted to use it wirelessly. But if you're wanting to get a keyboard that is very versatile that you can use in any situation, this one might be your best bet. Another thing this keyboard comes with is factory lube stabilizers and case, plate foam, and PE foam. So you practically don't have to do anything to it. Right out of the box, you can just use it. And that's the best part about it. Here's the sound test. You guys can hear how it sounds. I've said a lot of positives about this Aqua keyboard, but where does it fall short? Now, I really think it falls short in the software side, and the Wooting 60 HE definitely takes the cake over the Aqua keyboard in this department. The reason for this is that the Wooting 60 HE software is just so much more user friendly and a lot easier to understand what exactly you're doing and how to do it. And once I installed it, I was able to access the keyboard software. Inside that software, it gave me a lot of options and the UI was just obviously not as good as the Wooting. It's much more cluttered. It has a lot going on and it is harder to navigate through and know what exactly you're doing. Now, what I do think is great about their software is it is very easy to turn on that rapid trigger mode. 
So at least there's that. Because honestly, that's probably the only thing I would personally change. Just a rapid trigger. Or if you want to change the actuation force, you can definitely do that. Now, the actuation force can be changed from all the way down to 0.2 millimeters to 3.8 millimeters. So you definitely have a wide range depending on what you're doing. You can change it accordingly. Overall, this keyboard is awesome for the price and surprise, this is going to be featured in my Christmas giveaway that I do every year. I will have much more information about this giveaway next week. So feel free to subscribe if you are interested in participating. Other than that, I'll be leaving a link to it in the description below. But let me know what you guys thought about the Akko Mod 007B PC keyboard in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.